Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And earlier today, I showed you a lesson how you could modify your Tinkercad jet. I made some modifications to mine, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so if you remember the earlier design, one of my favorite parts was that it slides forward. And then because of this angle, we were able to make this triangular shape more than the 45 that the hole was because we could put it in at an angle. I found out when I created mine with size 50 that this was harder to squeeze in. So from now on, if you don't have this slope, make sure that you make this size 45. So I'm going to take off my tape here real quick. And show you the beauty of the modification part of this. Because of the way we designed that, we can slide the wing forward and back as we adjust it to find the right center of gravity. Now you can also add more clay, less clay, and other adjustments as you make your aircraft better. So I'm going to pick this up here as my location. I'm going to tape it in with just one piece. And then another thing I found about this design is I could bend it so that my wings had more of a dihedral angle, which I used a lot on my delta darts. So let's go for a test flight. All right, friends, so we've got our clay added. We've got our wings with a little bit of an angle. We've got our launcher with the hook. And right now, I've got those wings way forward. Let's see what we get. So did you see it dive? That would mean to me that I've got my wings too far forward. So let me adjust it. So for our next flight, I added a line here and here. So I'm marking where I tested my wing. So that way we can start to find what is smarter. A moment ago, we were way farther forward. Now we're way farther back. Let's see what kind of flight we get with this one. Once again, pull it back, slight launch. Not too bad, but I'm guessing we need to be somewhere in the middle of that. All right, friends, so last time we were back here, I'm moving it ahead almost a whole centimeter. I'm marking it again. If you have a data table, that's a great place to log your different attempts. And then we could also be measuring how far they go as well. Once again, hook the rubber band and let's see what we get. That one was way too far down. So this time I've moved it back so I'm in the middle. Once again, I'm logging my flight characteristics, trying to find the right angle for the most awesome launches. That had a little bit of glide to it, but it still wasn't perfect. So this is a good time to compare it to our original design as we work through and find what is the best kind of wing area for our little tiny jet. That one does seem to glide further. I anticipated we'd get better lift with this wing. I think we might just need to find the perfect place to put it to get that perfect flight. And this is why you test and check and keep adjusting your plane. Maybe even give yourself a different shape horizontal and vertical stabilizer as you try and create the coolest tiny jet. That was one of the best flights yet. So my friends, the moral of the story is never give up on an aircraft, adjust it, see what you can come up with, change everything. I have not adjusted the horizontal stabilizer. I have not adjusted the bubble or the fuselage of this shape yet. There are so many things that you can change, adjust, and see if you can come up with a better tiny jet than I have. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.